Green Action Center, and today we're going to show you a little experiment that we're going to do with this bicycle blender. At Green Action Center we like to do things a little bit differently, so instead of talking about um, sustainable food and energy and transportation, we're going to get on the bike and ride. So I'm going to ask Dave to explain to you how this contraption works before I tell you what we're going to do. Okay, well basically this is just an old blender that's been converted, and what we did was we connect the shaft to the blender. The shaft has a small wheel on it that runs off of the tire on the on the rear wheel of the bicycle. And that's basically all it does. It's as the tire, as the wheel turns on the bicycle, it turns the wheel on the blender and spins the blender and that's how we make our smoothies. If we're gonna make a smoothie today, we're gonna actually make it on the road. So this is gonna be one that we'll be able to ride to work and have your smoothie when you arrive. So we asked our, our members three predictions of what's going to happen. We asked them if we're going to be able to blend the smoothie successfully and have some breakfast on the way to work, if it's going to end up on the pavement, or if nothing's going to happen at all. So I'm going to load up the blender with some, some juice and we've got some banana and some ice in there. And then Dave's going to strap it down with some bungee cords and ride through traffic and make some car drivers jealous. Ready to go. So we'll meet you at Main Street. All right, I'm off. Okay. Dean, you're not wearing a helmet. <laughs> All right, everything stayed in place, and so now Shawnee is going to have her first taste of a bicycle blended smoothie from the road. I guess that's the benefit of biking, oh, biking to work with a smoothie is you can share your breakfast. So this is truly riding to work and having breakfast. 